tell y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, make a, a quick rice or a bank rice, I call it. Something to make in a pinch when you uh, when you're just not pulling your rice and you want to make some a different flavoring rice and you don't have you don't have three days to let it set up. This is something you can just you can uh, make at the lake with no lake water and like that. I'll show you all the ingredients and that good stuff but for when you're just having a hard time catching them or um hold him hook hank and um uh wild bill cart master snatch a knot in his ass catch a monster jug buster johnson they over there teamed up across the lake wearing them out i mean throwing a pole out reeling it in Got fish on the bank, snatching them this way, snatching them that way, and you know, we're just wearing them out. And you see, oh well, I'm throwing some green rice. I ain't got no green rice. Or three days, let it set up. You can just make you up some quick rice. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you can beat Holding Hook Hank and Wild Bill Cart Master Jug Buster Johnson. Here's your ingredients. You need a 128 ounce box of instant white rice. This is 24 ounces of ketchup or three cups. We're gonna use green grape today. How much ever flavoring you want to use, I wouldn't use no more than a half a bottle. And a bucket with a lid. Follow your steps exactly. Don't do it different because it's going to set up different. Like I said, 24 ounces of ketchup. And about a About a quarter bottle of flavoring. Can you see that there? Mm. I mean, I don't have any gloves, but I'm going to have to use my damn hand. Mix all your ketchup and your flavoring together. And if you do, if you have salt with you at the lake or whatever, or salt and sugar, you can throw it in there if you want. I'm gonna throw about a handful of salt in there. Like I said, if you got salt and sugar with it, you can throw it in there. If not, you don't have to have it. Because this bait's only going to set up for about eight hours anyway. It's not going to last no more than, probably no more than ten. No less than six. It'll take about an hour to set up. Turn your finger to green. You see that? Remember, just the ketchup flavoring, salt and sugar if you have it. Let me wash my hands. Now just let it sit for about five, ten minutes and then add the rice in it. All right, it's been ten minutes. And then add, just add a one twenty-eight ounce box of rice. Just uh, 
Make sure it's not premium. It's got to be instant white rice. Doesn't matter if it's the Great Value brand or Minute brand, whatever. Let me set up good. Like I said, this bait, this bait ain't gonna, it ain't gonna last very long. It's gonna last between six and 10 hours, depending on how much flavoring you put in it. But it should take only about an hour to set up. Now it's not rubber rice, it's just quick rice. That'll help you in a pinch if you run out of bait, or if you're trying to make a different flavoring of rice and you ain't got three days to let it sit. Make sure you mix it up good. Make sure your lid has a good bucket. <laughs> Make sure your lid has a good bucket. Make sure your bucket has a good lid. Put the lid on the bucket and let it sit for about an hour and it should be ready to throw. We'll come back and check and see if it's breaking up and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. It's been about uh, it's been about an hour and a half. What I did was what I recommend you do is when you make this after about 45 minutes give it a good mix because it's going to take about an hour and a half to set up good to where you can throw it so after about 45 minutes give it a good mix and uh it should be pretty well ready to throw if not uh you can get it out there it'll just be kind of sticky but obviously the longer longer it sets the better it'll be We're gonna see if it's if it's good. Like I said, it's gonna be sticky, kind of funky feeling, but it will throw. Like I said, this is just something to get you through in a pinch. It ain't nothing, no rubberized, nothing like that. It's just something to get you through, just in case you need to uh, try a different flavoring or something like that. We're gonna see if how good it breaks. Like I said, it's, it's, it's still, you can see a little bit on the hands. It's still a little damp after about an hour and a half, but it, 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 it is ready. You can sling it. It'll probably take a minute for it to break up because it's still a little, like I said, a little damp. But you see, it's, it's starting to bubble. Now, I didn't pack it uh, a whole lot because it is a little wet, but like I said, you can throw it in it. It'll, it'll realistically, I'm, if it's not broken up in about two minutes, I'll just, uh, I'll stop the video and tell you how long it took, but it should probably take around four minutes or so to break up. And that water is probably a little colder than what it should be. But it will break, I promise. Like I said, you can see it's not rubber rice, but it is something to get you by on the bank when you ain't got three days to let it about your rice set up. Like I said, it ain't gonna last about six to ten hours, depending on how much flavoring or you know how much dry ingredients you put in there. If you put any kind of Jello or Kool Aid or anything like that, it might take. It might not. Uh, it might not last as long because it's taking more ketchup to soak that dry ingredients up. But uh, like I said, I'll give us about two minutes. See if it ain't breaking. I'll let you know the exact break time. You know I'm not lying to you. That way you're not making something on the bank that ain't going to damn break up. I'll tell you the exact time it took to break up. Alright guys, that right there took about uh, 
I think it was right at six minutes to get a decent break. Now I know that's a long time for rice, but you gotta understand this was made quick. It's not swelled up real good, or and it's still kind of, like I said, kind of sticky. But obviously, the longer it, uh, the longer it sits after it's been sitting about two and a half, three hours, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be breaking up in about three minutes, which is fine. But uh, like I said, this is just when you're in a pinch. You need to make it with the flavor. Now, different flavors do act different with it. Now, I make a Concord, great, and uh, it breaks up pretty quick, even when it's kind of wet. But uh, now, you can mess with the ratios if you want to. If you don't want to use a whole 28 ounce box of rice, you can use a 14 ounce box of rice and a bottle of ketchup. You can kind of tweak the ratios a little bit if you want to, but I'm, this is just how I make it. If I know I'm getting close to out, being out of bait or something like that, or you know, and uh, and I got a, a decent amount of time that I knew that I was going to be out of bait, so I go ahead and make a little something up, and it'd be uh, it'd be ready to go to where you could throw it really good and it break up fine in about two hours. But like I said, this is ready to throw, a little wet, in about an hour and a half. Which is, if you made rice before, is very fast. Like I said, this is not rubber rice. This is just, I get you in a pinch, you need to get a different flavoring in the water, kind of rice. But uh, that's about it. If you got any more questions, or any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, and if you would, give the video a thumbs up and uh, share it with your buddies or whatever. Some of y'all might like it, some of y'all might not. This is just what's got me through in a pinch when I've run out of bait at the, at the lake. You know, so. But appreciate you guys watching.